Hello and what is up everybody, my name is Recon and today we are back on Escape from Tarkov. I'm going to be showing you guys a handful of my AK builds including the 103, the AKM, and the 74U. But let's go ahead and start off with the 74M. So this is the build that I can build at level 30, Peacekeeper Royalty, and level 3 with the rest of the traders. Here's a visual list of everything that you'll need for this weapon and I'll go ahead and go in the traders and show you where to buy them. Peacekeeper level 3, you need to buy the Kiba Arms VDM gas tube. And in Peacekeeper Royalty, you need to buy the Krebs Custom UFM Handguard. Peacekeeper Level 2 is where you get the 6 inch, the 2 inch, and the 4 inch key mod guides. In Peacekeeper Level 3, you need to buy the Magpul RVG grip. Skier Level 1 is where I personally get my scope and my flashlight. Skier Level 2 is where you get the PT locks. It depends which gun you're using. So the 100s, you'll use this. And the 74Us, you'll use this. Just check compatibility before buying to make sure you have the right one. Same place, you get the Zenit PT3 stock, and that's what goes on these two. As well as the Zenit DTK muzzle brake and compensator. This is for the 545s as well as the 762s. Also from Skier Level 2, you get the pistol grip, the charge handle, and the Tactica Tula 10,000. Also, if you wanted your scope in a different area, for poor Level 2, you can buy a Tactica Tula a rear sight adapter now that you guys know where to buy everything we can go ahead and start the build first things first let's go ahead and add the gas tube put the new handguard on let's go ahead and add everything to the handguard got the six inch here with the rvg black right here it all just depends where you want your light personally i like my light underneath so let's add him underneath there looking good looking good so if you wanted to you could put your scope on top of the handguard but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other options I gave. Here's the rear sight weaver adapter. Put a sight right there. I, I like that one. If you don't have access to the Tactical Tula 10,000 yet, I, I do like this one. It works well. And then let's just go ahead and add the Tactical Tula, which is probably the best. This is how it looks so far. Go ahead and add the pistol grip. Let's go ahead and add the PT lock as well as the butt stock. Add the charge handle. And this next part is strictly up to preference. If you're not worried about being silent and you want the least recoil possible, go ahead and put on the DTK1. You'll have 150 recoil. But if you do want to be silent, go ahead and replace your compensator with the silencer of your choice. It increases by about 19 with these two silencers. And that's going to be it for the AK-74M. We're going to go on to the 103 next. And this is my 103. All of the weapons pretty much have the same attachments except for compensator and silencer. This 103 has 184 recoil. And that is with the Dynacomp 762 compensator. Once again, if you're interested in being silent, you can go ahead and change this to the silencer of your choosing. Adding a silencer instead of a compensator gives me 204 recoil, so it added 20. Mechanic level 3 is where you can buy the Dynacomp compensator from. So the only difference between this one and the others is the buttstock. On the AKMs, you can't put a foldable buttstock. Here's a small list of the items you'll need. I'll go ahead and go to the trader and show you where to find those now. Skier level 3 is where you'll get the ME adapter, the Colt buffer tube, as well as the Mo stock. And Peacekeeper Royalty is where you'll get the Magpul butt pad. Now that we're done with that, let's just go ahead and put everything together. Simple as that. And this is my AKM build. And this is my AK-74U build. Pretty much the same except for the handguard and the top mount. I'll go ahead and show you guys where to buy those. Skier level 2 is where you get the B11 AK-74U handguard. And mechanic level 2 is where you'll get the B18 mount for the top. And that's my simple AK-74U build. Last but not least, I'm going to show you guys a lower level build. So for this, you will need the normal AK-74 gas tube. We'll put the MO on. And on the MO, we need to put the AFG M lock. Now that we have the MO on, go ahead and remove any kind of mount you have up here and add the Cobra. And on the Cobra, put the light. And that's it. Put your scope right here. You can put your scope up here if you want. Personally, I put it right here and it raises up a little bit. Peacekeeper level 3 is where you'll get the MO handguard as well as the M lock tactical grip. It may not be very pretty, but you have the best recoil you can get at your level. You also have a light. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments some more stuff you'd like to see from Tarkov, and I'll see you guys later.